Hi there, this is Desiree with SLP Talk, and today we're going to talk about how to use your iPad and Osmo docking station to create your own document camera to use in your teletherapy sessions, so you can bring those physical manipulatives back into your therapy sessions. Okay, you have your laptop, your Osmo base and your iPad. Your Osmo base is essentially just the base that it sits in. You're going to connect your iPad then to your laptop using your USB cord. And what goes on top of your laptop to make this Osmo work is a reflective mirror. That's what allows your iPad to see anything that you put in front of it. So what we're going to do, first we're going to launch the Osmo projector app. As you can see, there are a lot of different apps that you can use with Osmo. They use different manipulatives. These top four on the top row, Osmo Projector, Masterpiece, Monster, and Newton only require the space and reflector. You do not need the additional equipment to use them. So first you're going to go to Osmo Projector and that is what is projecting what is in front of my screen. So how do I get this over to my laptop? Because that's where I want it to be for telepractice, right? So what I'm going to do is I go to my finder and applications. I go down to QuickTime. Now this is how you do it on a Mac. I go down to QuickTime. I don't want Cricket. <laughs> my QuickTime player. There you go. And then I'm going to go to File, New Movie Recording. Now I'm not recording this. However, that is how I'm going to access my iPad here. Okay, so now I have my, now I have my iPad screen here. Typically, I would have my call going to and whether it be via Zoom or Google Meets, but for now, we're just going to have it where I'm showing you my screen because what I'm going to do under Google Meet or Google, or not Google, Zoom, whichever platform you're using, I know there are many, what you're essentially going to do is share your entire screen, not a window, but share your entire screen because then they are going to be able to see what is here with your document camera, as well as anything else you may pull up. You may wanna pull up a PDF, you may wanna pull up um, word list, anything you wanna pull up, or you may not wanna put up, pull up anything at all. You may just want uh, your video or just for, the, for them to only see the document camera if you're doing a story, for example. But in this case, I'm going to say that we want to be able to see what's on here too. I opened up a boom card for this, same thing you with you could do with a PDF or anything like that. I'm just essentially pulling it up for the visual. So I have my shark, and what I did was I pulled in a physical manipulative. My kids are really used to me using hands-on therapy activities in therapy, so I wanted to keep that as similar as possible as we move into this telehealth world. Um, and so. What I did is I brought this shark out and we used the combination. So for this activity, they would cover up the pictures with a token. So if the token was blue, they would cover up a token on the shark, so key, and they would say it five to ten times per turn. If it was orange, they would cover up a fish. And if they had to do that, they would roll the, well, I would roll the dice and show them whether or not we got one fish or two fish. And they would then tell me which one to pull out, whether they wanted me to pull out yellow, a green, a red, and I would pull out. Oh, <laughs> well, usually it's not the first fish that that happens with, but um, it was in this case. So if I pulled the right or wrong fish, depending on how you want to look at it, the shark then pops up. So, which typically gives me a scare, it gives them a scare, but it gives us something that we can do that adds that physical manipulative to the game. So that is as uh, simple as that. That is all you need to do. So if you want to put manipulatives, you want to put items, you could stick a sensory box in here. Now, obviously, your kids aren't having the multi-sensory experience of feeling the sensory box, but they can at least see it. You can uh, pull out 
cards, you can pull out tokens or put my tokens down there. It just gives you the ability to use more manipulatives with your activities. Hi, I hope that was helpful and gives you another tool to stick in your back pocket. If you need any help at all or have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can find me at SLP Talk on Facebook or Instagram. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.